The choice to leave was sometimes the companions. A common reason for the departure of female human companions was romance. Sometimes, as with Vicky, TV, Horse of Destruction, Joe, TV, The Green Death, and Leela, TV, The Invasion of Time, they left to get married, while at least one companion, Martha Jones, left because she realized her romantic feelings for the Tenth Doctor would never be reciprocated. TV, Last of the Time Lords, on other occasions, the Doctor traveled with married couples in the TARDIS, most notably Amy Pond and Rory Williams. TV, The Big Bang et al. In the Doctor's youth, before they had established reasonable control over the TARDIS, companions sometimes left, at least in part, because they happened to have access to their own time period and wanted to return home. This was especially true of the companions who had not actually chosen to travel with the Doctor, such as Ian and Barbara, TV, The Planet of Decision, Dodo, TV, The War Machines, and Polly and Ben. TV, The Faceless Ones, however, this sometimes happened later in the Doctor's life. Li Chi, for instance, thought the Seventh Doctor was only offering him a lift into town. Instead, they had several adventures together. When the TARDIS finally deposited him in the correct town, he headed for the nearest pub and ordered a stiff drink without once looking back. Comic. The Enlightenment of Li Chi the Wise. Some companions left to improve a particular society they had encountered with the doctor. Nissa left to help cure Lazar's disease, TV, Terminus, whilst Stephen Taylor stayed on the planet of the elders to be its leader. TV, The Savages. Likewise, Romana too chose to remain in e-space to help the Thurl species. TV, Warrior's Gate. Tara Mishra left the Ninth Doctor after wishing to stay and help with the disaster aftermath on Namake, comic, The Bidding War, though both parties made it explicit that this was temporary, and Jack Harkness was sent to collect her after some time. Comic, The Lost Dimension, later, Mickey Smith deliberately stayed in the parallel Pete's world to help its citizens defeat the Cybermen. TV, The Age of Steel. Mickey proved especially independent when it came to departing the Doctor's side. He later left the TARDIS again, this time to return to his home, Earth, ultimately to defend it from alien threats. TV, Journey's End, The End of Time. Others left for more personal improvement. Melanie Bush parted ways from the Seventh Doctor purely to have new adventures in space, but not time, with Sabalone Glitz. TV, Dragonfire. Frobisher left the Doctor to enjoy the pleasure planet a Lux. Comic. A Cold Day in Hell. Liz Shaw left Unit and the Third Doctor to return to her research, telling the Brigadier that all the Doctor needed in an assistant was someone to pass him his test tubes and tell him how brilliant he was. TV. Terror of the Ottens. After another brief adventure on Nesseline Martha Jones declined to travel with the Doctor again wishing to be a part of Unit. TV. The Doctor's Daughter. Some companions left simply because they no longer enjoyed traveling with the doctor. Victoria Waterfield left because she had grown tired of the continual danger in which she found herself and decided to choose a safer new life. TV, Fury from the Deep. Tegan Javanka similarly left because she had become sickened by the death and destruction she witnessed. TV, Resurrection of the Daleks. Likewise, Dan Lewis made the choice to leave following a near-death experience. TV, the power of the Doctor. Because they were Earth-based assistants who either never wanted to travel with the Doctor on a long-term basis or never were invited to do so, a few companions made only a single journey or two, but otherwise provided significant assistance from Earth. The Brigadier, TV, The Invasion, The Five Doctors, and Wilfred Mott, TV, The Stolen Earth, The End of Time, were classic examples of this sort of assistant, but Maxwell Edison, comic, stars fell on Stockbridge, and, for a time, Mickey Smith, TV, Aliens of London, World War III, School Reunion, The Girl in the Fireplace, could be viewed in this light as well. Harry Sullivan also left the Doctor to return to his usual life after a single trip in the TARDIS, TV, Terror of the Zygons, albeit one punctuated by several detours by other means. One companion who briefly left by her choice was Clara Oswald. After a trip to the moon in which she was forced to decide whether to kill an innocent creature or not and the twelfth doctor refused to help, Clara grew so angry she left the TARDIS, telling the doctor never to come and find her again. TV, Kill the Moon. However, with the help of Danny Pink, 
she realized she wasn't ready to give up the doctor yet and agreed to a final trip with him weeks later to the Orient Express at which point she decided to permanently rejoin him despite the dangers and the coldness the doctor once again displayed on the trip. TV. Mummy on the Orient Express. Clara again left the TARDIS after Danny's death, under the mistaken belief that the doctor had found his home planet of Gallifrey, while the doctor believed that Danny was alive and with Clara. TV. Death in Heaven. Later, the doctor returned to save her life, in an adventure in which both lies were exposed. Afterwards, the doctor gave Clara one more invitation to join him again, and she accepted. TV. Last Christmas.